If I give you this limit, the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x is equal to 1, uh, if I just tell you this is true, can you prove this net or can you tell me what this next limit is? So this the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cos x over x equals what? Knowing that this is true, and I'll prove that, that, that this, this is true later, but knowing that that's true, can you show me what this, this limit is? So let's try and do that. And in fact, I encourage you to pause the video and see what you can do on your own, and, and then come back and, and we'll do it together. So hopefully you've paused the video and you've tried it, but if not, I'm just going to move on. Okay, so the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cos x over x. Well, the first things first, what pops out to me is this 1 minus cos x. Whenever I see that, I, I really think to myself, uh, to, I want to square this. I want cosine to be squared and I want 1 to be squared because 1 squared minus cosine squared is equal to sine squared, right? That's our identity. And a way that I can do that is I can just multiply by the conjugate. So I'm, I'm going to use the difference of squares essentially and multiply by 1 plus cosine squared. Now, I have to be careful at this step because when you multiply by you know a number over itself, you can you can only ever multiply by one to not change something, but you also got to make sure that you don't multiply by zero over zero. One cosine could be negative one. If cosine was negative one, you'd have one minus one is zero, and you'd be multiplying by zero over zero, and and that would screw you up. You're not allowed to do that. But we don't have to worry about that because cosine is only zero when x is pi. But we have x approaching zero. It's x is not approaching pi, so we're not so cosine won't be won't be negative one. Okay, so this is a legitimate operation, and let's see what happens when we when we do that. So we're going to wind up with the limit as x approaches zero of one squared uh, minus cosine squared. And if you don't believe me that that those two terms multiply to that, then just multiply it out for yourself you'll find out that you find out what it comes out to which is what I have written and then this is over x times 1 plus cos x okay so let's do some simplifying and rewriting one my what this is one squared is really just one right so this is 1 minus cosine squared well that's our trig identity that's the whole reason we we multiplied by this conjugate so that we could get to this identity so let's Let's go ahead and use that. So this is the limit as x approaches 0 of sine squared x over x times 1 plus cos x. OK. And now we're on our way. So now what I want to do is actually break this up into two separate limits. But before I do, let me just show you the, the intermediate step, I guess you could call it. This is the limit of sine over x times by sine of, oh sorry, sine of x over x, times by the sine of x over 1 plus cos x. So if you multiply these two together, you'll, get, you'll just get back to here. So all I did was, was kind of break, break these things apart. And now because of limit properties, so this was step four, because of limit properties, I know I can take the limit, uh, uh, the limit of a product is the product of a limit, of the limit. So let me show you that. So this is, this is going to be the limit as x approaches zero of sine x over x uh, times by the limit so we have two limits now. The limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over 1 plus cos x. Okay, and now we can just actually evaluate our limits. So the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x, I told you that's 1. So this is going to be 1 times, 
And then the limit as x approaches zero, well, well, zero, uh, this, the sine of zero is zero. And the sine of one plus cosine x, well, when, when cosine, when, uh, Cosine of x, when x is 0, cosine is 1. So this is 1 over, or 0 over 2, which is just 0. So this is 1 times 0, which is equal to 0. So we figured it out. We got our final answer. That 1 minus cosine x over x is equal to, this is equal to 0.